Hello and welcome to another Roblox tutorial. So have you ever run into a situation where you have a normal script and you want to say loop something and it has a bunch of wait statements in it but you want to run this but also skip over it and start running the next lines of code after it without stopping your loop. Now this may see com seem complicated at first but the way to overcome this is multi-threading in Lua. And in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. So, there are many ways to use multi-threading in Lua. But what exactly is a thread? So a thread is a sequence of coding instructions that can be executed independently. So each script in Roblox has one thread by default, and a thread is just the basic stuff that you're running. So if we want to do what we're trying to do right here, we have to use multiple threads in a singular script. And there are a bunch of ways to do that. The first of which, and the simplest one, is a function named spawn. So this function takes in a singular parameter which is the function you want to run. So a lot of times you don't really have a function that you want to run. So the way I usually do this is I do spawn a function. This is just an arbitrary function. And then I put this spawn function statement around whatever I want to run. In this case, it's my loop. So what this will do is it will spawn a new thread that runs this function that we specified here. And it will run this thread, but skip over it at the same time. And this function works good most of the time, but there's one thing about it that might make it less desirable, and that that's the fact that you have to wait around 29 milliseconds in order for it to run. You might have to wait a little bit more, depending on frame rate and other things. But other than that, it works perfectly fine. So let's run this and show you what it does. So you can see it prints the script started running and the statement I won't ever run except it was running and it also starts looping so what the code did is it printed this spawned this function and then printed this while this function was still running so this solves a lot of code issues that you might be might try to solve with like events or some complicated other things so that's pretty so there's also a close relative to the spawn function, and it's the delay function. So it's the exact same format, except instead of a singular function parameter, it has the number of seconds to delay, let's just say three seconds, and then the function we want to run. So what will happen here is it will wait three seconds and then run the function. So you play this, you wait, around three seconds and then it starts looping so that works great so the next type of multi-threading is called a coroutine so there's a few functions associated with coroutine because in roblox coroutine is a library and has a bunch of functions that go into it so we're only going to talk about a few of them today i might make a video talking all about coroutines in the future so the first function you need to know when using coroutine is coroutine create. And this creates a, actually, let me get rid of this three because that's for delay. This creates a coroutine based on this function. And it returns that coroutine. So in order to actually use it, you have to do local co equals coroutine create. So you get the coroutine that this function returns and stores and we store it in this co variable and in order to run it we do coroutine dot resume and we send co so the difference between this and spawn is that when we resume a core coroutine it runs instantly it does not wait at all so if we play this you can see it says i am looping right as it starts. So it runs before this print statement occurs. So it runs instantly, which is pretty useful if you're dealing with precision. 
But the real uses of coroutine shines with the function coroutine.wrap. So for a second now, we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to name this function uh, function do something. And we're going to take in a string, and we're going to print this string repeatedly. So when you're dealing with a spawn function, if you wanted to send a parameter to the do something function, you'd have to do spawn function and then do do something and then send in the string. And that's kind of a lot. It's kind of annoying to be honest. So um, actually, let me get rid of this. So um, and let's just say the string we want to take in is I don't know. Hello. So if we run this, I mean, it will work. It's just kind of janky. It doesn't look good. It's annoying. But with coroutines, there's a special function called coroutine routine dot wrap. So this function takes in the function that we want to wrap. In this case, it's do something. And so you can assign this to a variable again, like local co. So this makes a coroutine with a function inside of it basically that's what the wrap is for and the cool thing about this is you can run this coroutine just like you do a function just by just doing parentheses right there and i can send it a variable like hello if we run this it runs just like you would normally expect it to do and without the hassle of adding an extra function statement and if you really wanted to which i think this would be more viable if you really wanted to make it nice and compact is just do something like this because this is basically the same thing it's just less like variable assigning so basically we wrap our do something function with the coroutine and then we run it instantly afterwards so we play this you can see it does the exact same thing but we just saved a lot of code space we also didn't define a variable which would probably help performance a little bit but now we have our nice little wrapped function very simple you can send in parameters very easily that's something that the spawn and delay functions do not have going for them because it's very hard to send in parameters if you want to and yeah you have a nice way to do multi-threading so these are all the ways to multi-thread in roblox they're all very good if you if you just want simple stuff like to just make a loop and you want to run that loop as long as you want and you just don't want to have the hassle of like making a new script that runs it or something i would use something like spawn i personally have never used delay i've never really found a use for it because you can just put a wait statement in your spawn function if you really want to do that but coroutine.wrap is actually a very interesting thing i think it's pretty cool because i've been using spawn but i just figured out coroutine.wrap and it looks like it could save a lot of my code space and make my code look a lot less ugly with all those functions and it's just a better way to do it so i hope you enjoyed this video this is pretty cool stuff multi-threading it's really helpful in all forms of programming ever and i'm glad lua has so many ways to do it so make sure to comment down below any questions that you have about multi-threading this is a pretty advanced topic and i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe have a nice day and goodbye